Well, hello, I'm Nicole. I'm Francesca. And we met through the horticulture program and decided that we just wanted to start making some videos because we just wanted to. What do you do? Watch YouTube videos all the time? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and everything that we were seeing with, you know, all the online forum boards and like everybody on Facebook, everybody seems to have some of the same questions. And my experience starting with the outdoor gardening, I'm 40, you are? 23. Um, but, you know, it's always been great to see like our different experiences and backgrounds. And with me starting outdoors, and Fran knows a whole heck of a lot about outdoor plants, but she's also got her heart was always with the tropicals and the, the rare plants. And, you know, you helped me to get a lot of this stuff going for like, like some of the stuff that I've been growing outside for years, I never knew that I could really have them inside because I was always afraid they're going to be too fiddly. And then Fran was the one to be like, oh no, you can grow them inside, you just have to X, Y, Z. And then learning through that way, and we just kind of wanted to share and broadcast, and then like Fran's fear of alocasia, that was one of the things that I was able to help her with. Um, because I've been growing them outside for forever, and it's like, you know, getting them inside, it's like, why is everybody afraid of alocasias? And it was eye-opening for me, and so sharing that, you know, our experiences has really helped us to become better at what we do, and we just kind of wanted to bring that, you know, online, and giving somebody something to say, okay, go watch this video, instead of saying the same thing, like, a billion times. It hasn't been a billion, but sometimes it feels like it. It does. It feels very <laughs> repetitive, and with this, like, we, we really want to get out there on how to truly help people understand the acclimation. How did we say it? The acclimatization. Accl <laughs> whatever. Accl acclimating. acclimating. Acclimating fruits and vegetables and just plants, tropical plants that really are in your hardiness zone and being able to keep them year round and really understanding dormancy and how to control dormancy if you want them interior or exterior. And just really, we, we want to make those overall videos on how to help help people understand and help them with their plants and their problems that they have and just really get all of the word out there in a simple way instead of having to watch this video and this video and listening to a lot of rambling pretty much. <laughs> Although some of the rambling will be fun and there will be shade, like total shade. Yeah. And I'm just being real because like so many times like we'll talk to people like in person and it's a completely different story than what people will say, like, online. And it's just the reality. It's like, you know, what is that that popular meme that goes around? Like, there's two people. There's people who have fungus gnats and there's liars. <laughs> yeah. And then I still, I still see the people who are all like, oh, I've never had bugs. Like, I don't understand why anybody has an issue. And I'm like, you are such a liar. Like, yeah. you cannot have plants without having bugs. It's impossible. And fight me. If you want to say differently in the comments, like, totally, go ahead, you're a liar. I'm just telling you right now, you're a liar, I don't care. If you've never had bugs, you've never dealt with bugs, you're lying. Like, truly. You are. I shade, mean, no shade, you're lying. Anybody dealing with plants, indoor or especially indoor and outdoor, like, you, you can't sit there and tell me, or us, that you have not gardened or done anything to where you haven't experienced with any bugs, disease, fungi, anything like that. Like, there's there's just no possible way. There's no possible way. And you can't even have some of these plants without having bugs or having different kinds of fungus, you know, because a lot of times there's a symbiotic relationship. And not everything is a bad thing. You know, there's good bugs, there's bad bugs. You know, but it's just the reality of plant ownership. And it's a, lot, it's a lot like kids. And I see people who have these plants that are, like, styled. Like, I've styled this specifically you know, because I, these are all of my plants, um, this is my house, we'll do some of the stuff um, at Fran's house, some of the videos, and we'll go to different places, but these are all of my plants, and this isn't even the tip of the iceberg, because I'm one of the crazy plant ladies, and Fran can attest to that, but Fran's also a crazy plant lady, so We've we're both total, got our problems. <laughs> we're, at, we're complete enablers, so never be the one to ask us, don't let me buy anything, because I'll be the one saying, buy it, buy it. Yeah, we both <laughs> you know, have like, those bad problems. We'll get the problems. cutting later. You know, like, oh, I'll buy a cutting from you later. You know? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you buy this, and then I'll buy this, and then we just switch swap. <laughs> there you go. That's the and best that's... part of the community in general. Yeah. And even though some people nowadays don't want to do the trading, which I understand because there's a lot of money in plants, and if you don't have something that somebody else wants, but in general, you know, there is money in plants, and there's money involved in plants. It doesn't have to be if it's not your budget. 
But that's also something that, you know, we'll talk about in a later video. It's about, you know, some of the shade being thrown that shouldn't be over pricing. Because mm -hmm. that's, for us, with us being horticulture students, like, we're in this not just because we love plants. We want to make money off of plants. Like, there's no lying. We're not hiding that. We're not anything. We yes. want to make a living off of plants one way or the other. <laughs> horticulture. It's horticulture. <laughs> that, that, that's basically what it means. It means one way or another that we're making money off of plants. That's what it is. Um, and you learn how to take care of them, and that's, we, we're all doing that anyway. But, you know, but just showing the reality behind plants and the community um, and just sharing. You know, I really get along with Fran. She gets along with me. Um, I love that she'll be like, girl, please, you know, and be real with me. And that's something that anybody needs in anything that they love to do because it helps you to be better. And it's not one of those people that's going to be like, oh, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Like, you know, she'll walk in my house and she'll start picking dead leaves off and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm kind of embarrassed. And then she'll be like, whatever. And then I'll go to her house and I'll be like, what did you do to wear the And then she'll be like, I'm like, oh, well, no, let's not talk about that. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, you know, it's having those kinds of friendships. And this is actually something that we're really looking forward to. And, like, Fran's mom is, like, super excited. She yeah. She wants Fran to be, like, an internet star. And my husband is, like, excited because, you know, he's just excited about anything that has to do with YouTube because he's a super YouTube watcher. Yeah, and there's just so many casualties of it. I mean, people not only – people don't understand how, like – YouTube has evolved into something that's just like Google. Like, it's right there at your fingertips, you know? Like, people come in and people ask or freak out because they can't understand how to do something and they can't put together two and two. And like, just YouTube it, you know? <laughs> and it's so crazy to watch, like, how YouTube back then was just, like, full of, like... Cat videos. <laughs> yeah, like, weird, weird videos. No no offense to the cat people, but... He man, it was just, he man on the motorcycle. Yeah, the like, <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm a snake, you know? <laughs> like, just crazy, stupid videos. Kind of like how TikTok it or Vine yeah. is. Like, that kind of thing. And now, like, it's evolved into something that's like a... It's a format. It's a base. It's now, like, a, an, an education. It's a... It's a lot of people rely on YouTube for their livelihood, you know, now. Like, it's so crazy how it's just evolved, and we, that's our goal, because, I mean, we sit here, and we watch plant videos all the time. Everybody does, if you're sitting there growing a garden, growing plants in general, everybody YouTubes something. But our biggest problem was that we're constantly searching like we're always and I mean you always are to educate yourself but when you're looking for an answer you got to go here there and everywhere to find and then you have to add everything up to find that true answer and you don't get a lot of explanation I mean a lot of it is that you have to understand yourself and go through it yourself but we're we're trying to help you skip that whole trial and error <laughs> or just sharing like in being real like Again, this is my house, and a lot of the plants that we'll use will be some of mine, or they'll be Fran's, and it's not going to be like, oh my god, like, there's some plants that I have that are struggling because it's getting winter time, and usually my relative humidity is pretty high, but because now I have so many plants in here that need higher temps, I'm using more heaters than I used to, and that's dropping some of my humidity, but because I expected that, and I know what my plants are going to do, because I've been growing some of these for forever, I mean, I'm 40, so I've been... I've, I've been with plants for a long time, um, and I know what to expect, and I'm not freaking out, whereas I've seen people on, like, Facebook, like, like, allocations in particular, they're, like, every other time, it's, oh, my poly is dead, or is my poly dying, or is it gonna come back, or what's happening, it's brown, it's yellow, and some people are like, oh, well, mine looks perfect, and I don't know what's wrong with you, and, you know, I'm just like, that. that's totally not helpful. Like, yeah. you know, somebody's showing you their dead plant and or dead-looking plant, and you're like, mine's perfect, so I don't know what your problem is. You know, that's it's just sort of like that low-key, like, passive-aggressive, like, hee-hee, <laughs> you know. And it's just like, you get, like, with us, we get to where we don't even want to, like, reply on Facebook or things like that, because then we get the haters, because... We're representing ourselves as experts, even though mm -hmm. technically, because we've been growing what we've been growing, we do know what we're talking about. And then we get the low-key haters, the people who've been, because of COVID, growing plants, instead of been doing it pre-COVID, 
So, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's... It, there's some people that, <laughs> just because they've locked themselves in a house with, not by choice either, but with some plants, they, they're an expert. They tell you everything that's in the book, but sometimes it's not like that. And I mean, like, we're not sitting here saying that we can just spill everything out that's in the book and we know it off the top of our hands, but we have read a couple books here and there, and I mean, we are, we truly do have, like, experience and can explain why a lot of things do happen other than just telling you you're doing something wrong and going going away with it, you know? Yeah. and that was the important thing because we're going to be, you know, and there's a lot of plant influencers, um, I'm not going to say names right now of who we watch, but um, eventually we will get down a name. But we're not trying to name drop and, like, pull up people to try to, like, go on somebody else's coattails. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, but a lot of it, there are previous shop, they worked in shops. You know, like, Fran, she worked in a shop. She may end up working in another shop, but she was actually a nursery where, like I said, she has a lot of background that I have so much respect for in, you know, the ornamentals, outdoors and indoors with tropicals and things like that with, you know nursery setting and what she says that I've helped her with is actually because I actually grow them in my home and in my garden outside so it's like the combined experience of okay I know it from the nursery end and then you know or she knows it from the nursery end and I know it from the actual grower in the ground end and that's what's kind of really helped to balance because I've learned a lot through the horticulture classes and from Fran with how to be a better gardener because I now know more about where they're coming from, mm -hmm. so that way I can better transition them into living in my garden and in my home. And that's been a huge step for me, and just sharing that information that I'm amazed is just not out there. Like, I keep telling people this, everything that I'm learning, but then I stop because we got the haters, and blah, 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 and I'm just like, I just don't want to put up with it. I was like, so if we put it out in our own format, in our own forum, mm -hmm. then hopefully it'll be a more positive experience and help get to more people to help people and we're just gonna have fun like it's just I'm so much that's excited. The, it's the goal that's just the goal is to have fun with this and to help educate people that really kindly want to ask questions you um, know <laughs> and some of the topics we're going to talk about is tc tissue culture we do have yeah similar mindsets but for different reasons which will be interesting for us to share and what we know about tissue culturing versus, you know, what people say about it. Mm -hmm. um, and then, what is it, like pests, you know, indoor pests, what we do to take care of them or to preventative or when you get them. Um, again, you're going to get them. I don't, you're going to get them. So <laughs> how do you handle it after that point? Um, I actually just got one of my wish list plants, which is a Homolumina selby. And... Um, I've actually just had it in the corner right now. I was like, I'm going to wait. We're going to actually do a video on, okay, so you bought it. So what do you do when you bring it home? Like the inspections and what you can do. And, um, you guys might be a little bit surprised about what I do with the plants that I bring home because it's going to be a little contrary to what a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. And then Fran's in particular about what was some of the stuff you were wanting to talk about in particular? Like propagating, mm -hmm. repotting. Oh gosh, there's so many things. I know. <laughs> there's, there's but you can see, like her, her being with the nursery setting, which is okay. Again, we're in the horticulture program to make money, so propagating is a huge, huge deal. And I gotta tell you, this girl can root just about anything. So <laughs> you probably cut my finger off and root it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a little finger running around. Was it thing on Adam's family? Does it thing? Yeah, yeah. See him running around. Oh my gosh. Have our adulting juice. Yeah, much needed. But, so, I'm Nicole. I'm Francesca. Like and subscribe, please, if you want more content from us. We are going to be putting out, what, about two a week? We're going to try. I mean, we're, we're going to push it. We're collecting ideas, and we're prepping ourselves to what, mm -hmm. what we really want to get ourselves into. Because we are full-time college students, so... And then I have children, and she has fur babies, and we do have a side business, um, Practically Plants, that we're just getting off the ground on Etsy. So, you know, our calendars are a little full, but we're going to try to fit it in. And again, this isn't like, you know, pulling teeth. We, we're actually really excited about this. So we're hoping for about two videos a week, even if we have to pre-record and then put them out, you know, when we mm -hmm. have a chance to do all that. 
So we are going to have a lot of content coming out. And then as we get down the road, we'll probably get feedback from you guys about questions you may have and things that we could help with um, and move from there. You guys just let us know if you want any specific content or if you're looking for specific information and don't see videos on because we that's our goal is that we want to make things that are different you know and if you hear any plant gossip please share we, of we course. totally want all the gossip on the plant world because we want we're like, full shade baby we're like looking in the reddit we're looking everywhere we're like going to the dark web no not quite the dark web but maybe <laughs> maybe wink wink but <laughs> Um, anyway, so thank you for watching, and we're actually going to be starting working on our next video right after this intro video. So, bye!